GW Steel is celebrating its first season as the official timing partner to the Renault F1 team, and the opportunity to come to the Monaco Grand Prix was definitely not one to be missed. Busy weekend for the Watch and Steel kicked off on Friday by welcoming the International Formula One media on board their yacht for brunch. Renault F1 team driver Vitaly Petrov stopped by to visit TW Steel guests, giving his unique insight into the demands of racing around the streets of Monaco in a Formula One car. Formula One, I understand, is quite difficult to drive because we need to deal with uh, all the weekend for because it's a lot of wood and the speed is quite high. The Russian is proving to be a leading rookie in F1 this year, and he was a popular draw with the visiting media. TW Steel also used the occasion to welcome on board its latest brand ambassador, David Coulthard. A two-time winner of the Monaco Grand Prix, the Scottish racer now has his sights set on the DTM series where he'll race for Mucka Motorsport. Well, first of all, uh, I should say I was uh, delighted to, to be able to represent TW Steel. I've been around Formula One for, for many years and seen various brands come and go, but I think that uh, it's a fairly impressive uh, start to the, the branding with the Renault car. It stands out more than I think Lada does. Olivia Ortiz, winner of the Miss TW Steel competition last year, boarded for a photo shoot in the afternoon. With Monaco as famous for its glitz and glamour as it is for the Grand Prix, the backdrop was suitably appropriate. Friday evening saw TW Steel bring the party to Monaco Harbour, where the yacht was moored trackside to catch all the weekend's Formula One action. Entertainment was provided by Eddie and the Robbers, the band led by former Jordan Grand Prix team principal and BBC Formula One analyst Eddie Jordan. Guests included an exclusive mix of people from the world of watches and of Formula One. On track, the Renault Formula One team continued their encouraging run of form with Robert Kubica second fastest in Saturday's qualifying, the Polish driver giving the team its first front row grid slot this year. While he dropped a third at the start, yet another outstanding drive from Robert saw the team score their second podium finish of the season. Elsewhere, Vitaly Petrov was classified with a 13th place finish and Brazilian TW Steel ambassador Luca de Grassi was forced to retire from the race on lap 26. So after a successful debut in Monaco this year, TW Steel is already hard at work preparing to make next season's trip to the Grand Prix even bigger and even better. Something, something.